We're back to the Neil Haley Show, and I am really exciting to talk about this uh, ESPN acclaimed short film, Black Girls P- Play, and I have Michelle Stevenson on the pro- on the line. How are you, Michelle? And I'm excited to talk about this, and it's got to feel great that it's coming up really, really soon, right? Yes, I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. We are happy to be on ESPN+. Plus. Absolutely. So tell us how this project got into being. How did it happen? Well, we've been in conversation with ESPN for a while about what project felt good for us to sort of sink our teeth into, given, you know, the vision we have with the work that we do. And um, at ESPN, uh, Kira Gaunt, the ethnomusicologist who wrote the book, The Games That Black Girls Play, uh, had a short TED talk that the ESPN shared with us as well as an article she wrote in New York Times. And we were blown away by uh, all the myths she was busting in her book and the connecting the dots that she was making and centering, you know, the black girls, black girls uh, musical experience as the foundation to our American popular culture. And there was no way we could say no. This was really an inspiring story that uh, we didn't know about and that we felt that most folks didn't know about that uh, needed to be told. Yes. So kind of without giving it all away, because you want people definitely to tune into ESPN Plus, what is the premise of the whole uh, short film? The premise is that the games that Black girls play that we see on the playground or that are played in the backyard in our families on the block are really, they hold and are the uh, foundation of American popular culture and Black musical expression, from jazz to hip hop to gospel um, to all of those musical forms, but even beyond that, the popular culture that we see today. So kind of explain to me more about that, like uh, on the playgrounds and stuff like that, how they kind of put out that type of music throughout when they're playing. Well, the games themselves um, retain Uh, these cultural practices and musical expressions that date all the way back uh, to Africa before slavery. And what I'm talking about are certain certain pillars of uh, of Black culture that include, you know, polyrhythmic uh, beats that you see in the hand games and that you feel in the hand games, the dance and the musical call and response that is also part of that practice, where we sing one thing and wait for the response and respond to that. And then there's a there's a level of innovation and um, improvisation that happens in many of the hang games that allow for individual expression that also date back to that practice. And you see that repeated in gospel in the call and response in oratory practice when, you know, we're asking the audience to participate in the conversations and in jazz uh, where, you know, I- improvisation and um, and the individual expression within the collective is a central part of that expression. And of course, hip hop. And we see some of that in the film. Um, uh, how hip hop in some cases actually literally takes the hand games and gives it a hip hop twist. And I saw this experience in the playgrounds, uh, monitoring the playgrounds when I taught at St. Agnes in Oakland, it's in the city of Pittsburgh and, uh, how black girls would play compared to when I was taught in, in affluent areas and just how you're right, the rhythmic, the different things, even from jumping rope to other types of games, they, they, I guess I'm getting an understanding more. It was not just like, hey, we're, you know, we're just on there, not silent. It's, it's a real interaction. It's a real interaction. That's a, it's part of African expression, and it's an, it's it, what, what Kira Gaunt says is, it's an embodied memory, you know, and it dates back to slavery. You know, when the drum was taken away, um, um, other, other inventions were made to keep, you know, to keep one's own humanity, but also to keep a cultural tradition that is literally part of the DNA. And what's interesting, and you see in the film also is, you know, you see it across this country and there are certain regional sort of twists depending on the, depending on the game. But those same games you see are played all over the Caribbean and Brazil, wherever, you know, 
there was slavery. Wherever there is a Black presence, there is those pillars of polyrhythm, call and response, uh, and, and, uh, and innovation that happened within the expression that you see everywhere. So the it's definitely thing. a passed down art, it sounds like to me. Exactly. 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 Were you surprised by it in a ways from doing this and, and, and seeing the whole process being put into place more? Did you learn new things from it? Oh, definitely. I was surprised, you know, you know, sometimes the academic rigor that Kira uh, puts into sort of connecting the dots and, and um, it was, it was a big surprise to me that so much could be retained in in play. And you know, generally when we talk about play, it's a really important part of how we evolve as human beings. Play is play, but it's not just play, if I can say it. It 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 teaches us so much about not just how to be human, how to share, what how how to be in community. And this is just a particular type of expression of it. And we're centering play in terms of its importance to our to our civilization as human beings. So what is your hope that people will learn from watching this? Well, I hope people have fun. The, the film is a lot of fun. Um, it, 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 it takes uh, people down memory lane. Uh, uh, but also, you know, it's really about centering the contributions of Black women and Black young girls and providing, having that platform to share uh, that information is really important for me and, as a family. What have people that have viewed it, the feedback so far? Oh, they've loved it. People have been so happy. You've, we've had tears of joy and happiness. We've had young girls, you know, uh, come to the Q&A and thank us for, for centering that. And then for them going back to the playground, uh, we'll have other meaning, you know. And we're very much looking forward to sharing more of this with the work that ESPN is doing through some community screenings that we'll be doing with uh, high schools and young and 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 young children all across the country. So um, I'm I'm looking forward to being able to share this so we kind of have a different take on the meaning of play. I mean, this is fabulous for sure. And what about young? Uh, black girls, what are they going to learn from watching this? I think it's 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 part of you know um, validating our own experiences, validating experiences of young black girls, and seeing you know that what they carry has a deep influence and deep meaning, and um, hopefully they can you know uh, walk a little prouder, <laughs> walk with their you know heads up a little higher uh, uh, when they watch this. And I think what you're, they're going to gather is the history, because a lot of times kids don't know history. And I have an undergrad in history, and I told you I was a former teacher. The history mm -hmm. and how uh, cultures pass down from generation to generation so we don't lose it, this film is going to keep that going in a way that that doesn't happen, right? Because at one point, people kind of will want to forget their culture. And this will be a wake-up call to people that have. Absolutely, absolutely. And us understanding that history is not just in the books. It's lived, right? It's lived. We pass things down through our food, through our practices, through our music, uh, through our play. Um, and being able to recognize that, I think, is really important. Yeah, and, and definitely it is. And it's a, it's a process and people are going to learn a lot. And I think that even some of it that's not even passed down, it literally comes from our DNA, that there, it, there is parts in our, in, our, in our energy, in our bodies that, that, guess what, because we've gone through whatever culture we came from, we're going to exhibit those things even not through passed down, right? And that's the other part that people forget about when they look at how do traditions continue to stay alive, even if they've really not had any experience? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. That embodied part of what we carry um, really is important to recognize. All right. So that, again, everyone can go check it out on ESPN+. Plus. It's now streaming on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, Black Girls Play. We appreciate it. It was such a great conversation. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thank you so much for having me. You're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show. We'll be back in just a moment.